Okay, so just finished the first gym session in a while. I'm feeling a little tired, not gonna lie. And here's the reason why I love playing, riding on a motorbike. Oh, I don't play. <laughs> so yeah, it's Monday. Decided I'm gonna try and pump out a video on Monday, Wednesday and Fridays. So if you're watching this, uh, it's probably Wednesday. And you have to excuse me if I'm a little out of breath. We literally just finished gymming, showered, and yeah, got on back. By we, I mean Roger, the gentleman in the Chevy Lucetti type thing. So there's been one other motor vlogger from Joburg that I've seen. That's videos I've managed to trace down. Um, I think his name is Raj Josie, something to that effect. And he uses this road when he goes up to Sandton. I did post on his Google Plus wall. Hopefully that will notify him, but. I did post saying that he should start making more videos. I mean, there'll be two of us in Johannesburg then. And one guy in Durban that kind of records himself. Trying to figure out what's been going on lately. Um, I started gymming again on Monday. Decided I have to do something about my paunch, which has grown into a belly. I'm stiff as, well, a teenage boy. It hurts. Uh, what you do? My previous video was a comment about no speedo cluster, no fuel gauge, all of that jazz. Um, I forgot to tighten my helmet. So yeah, it's most of the time I'm driving around and suburban areas uh, I rarely drive with a number plate on the only time that happens is pretty much when I'm on the long road uh, yeah it's quite common for South Africans to underage volleyballers don't look underage volleyballers don't look yeah, it's quite common for South African motorcycles not to have a number plate on I'm not quite sure why we get away with it. Not that I'm com not complaining or anything. That's why I'm not too stressed about my speed. Cops also generally don't pull over motorcycles because, well, our, co our cop cars are kind of just making sure she's stopping. Um, yeah, our cop cars aren't the fastest. <laughs> That little line from Tokyo Drift where they said if you can go over 180, cops don't bother. Um, quite a lot of our cop cars are like that. Our metro, which is traffic department. Yeah, they drive around with Golf 6 and Golf 7 GTIs. There's highway cops. I'm not too sure what the hell they're called. Uh, they got a giant sheriff's badge on the side of their car. Don't fuck with them. They can shunt and they'll come fetch you. And then 
they'll just be really, really angry. So, pretty much this whole week, I've been looking for South African motor vloggers. And the closest I can find is Deadpin. So either South Africans aren't advertising themselves as motor vloggers, or I'm one of probably four. The only active one being Leadpin that I can find. Kinda sucks. I feel like an alien. Yeah, Leadpin's not even really South African, he's He's gone and converted. You know, plays upside down rugby and dates a girl named Sheila. Got no idea why they all named their girl daughters Sheila though. Not even a nice name. Bruce. Now that's a powerful girl's name. I've been thinking about why South Africans don't really motor vlog. I mean, fair enough, it's, it's still quite new. I mean, it's about two years old. Generally takes about four or five years for something to catch on, yeah. And the only reason I can really think is because the cameras are so damn expensive. And honestly, a camera Ghost S, or whatever the hell it's called, the latest drift. You're looking at about seven, 7,000 Rand landed. That's half to a third of somebody's salary per month. Um, so I don't, I don't know where the hell I'm driving. I'm uh, just on a little cruise. Um, yeah, so that's half to a third of somebody's salary on average. Not many people can afford to just fork that shit out. That's why I'm running with the modified GoPro. It's completely butchered, completely unique. It's got insulation tech on it, so you know it works well. Uh, I'll do a gear, a proper helmet cam setup, whatever video one day. Another thing, uh, I'm going to be setting a potentiometer on it. A couple of the guys over at... Uh, I think I know where we are. Uh, a couple of the guys over at motorvlog.com suggested it. Well, one person. But uh, he speaks so much, it's almost as if he is too janks, I believe it was. I'll correct it in the description if I was wrong. Um very very bumpy road so what I hope to achieve with the potentiometer will be turn on the incoming volume a little bit and hopefully that will drown out some of the wind noise as well it will drown out a lot of my heavy seductive breathing might make my voice sound better uh, might start getting nudes in the mail who knows and if that doesn't work then I'm only about a month away from saving up for a proper camera anyway um, it's still a bit of a toss up as well between proper camera and just getting another helmet because probably the fact that I know I, I'm gonna have some bucks spare um, but this helmet doesn't feel like it fits nicely anymore could also be the two meters worth of cable that I've got in here um, it's hurting me a little bit above well where my receding hairline is it feels a bit dodgy there so yeah, helmet suggestions between two to three hundred dollars. What would you guys buy if you were me? Size X to XXL. 
probably spend some of that money on a notepad so I can try and script out my motor vlogs a bit more and keep them more or less in s well I've seen her before Chubbo um, yeah to try and keep my my motor vlogs on track because in the middle of about a kilometer I've gone from talking about South African motor vloggers through to cameras to what I'm doing this weekend to how I can't stay on topic oh, poor people so yeah it's it is a problem I am aware of it I'm attending meetings One day I'll get that shit sorted out. But in the meantime, yeah, this has been your Wednesday video. To recap, there are no South African motor vloggers because our cameras are too expensive. We don't have good helmets and we can't seem to... Something about attention span. Um, yeah, Seacrest out.